Hello, this is Noreen Crone Findlay from CroneFindlay.com and TottyTalksCrafts.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really sweet little butterfly using a lucid. Butterflies are the symbol of transformation, and I think a lot of people right now are going through mm, quite a lot. And I know I had quite the day yesterday, but that's another story. But um, if you make little butterflies that you can you can just give them to people if they're having a tough day or you can use them to embellish hats or scarves or cell phones or pillows or book covers or you can use them as a bookmark you can use them for all kinds of things they're wonderful and I mean butterflies <laughs> they're just for the win okay so my website is cronefindley.com, but it's really not a website right now because it got hacked and we took it down and I haven't had time to work on it. So really all it is is just a list of my various websites. Um, my blog is tottytalkscrafts.com. My YouTube uh, video tutorials, well, you're right here right now. So that's this link. And Etsy. Etsy, yay! Go to Etsy. That's where all my... Uh, patterns, my ebooks, um, you can buy them there. And so shop in my Etsy shop and I can keep making wonderful videos for you. Okay, and keep in touch on Facebook at Noreen Crumfidley Designs. So I'm going to just lift that away and fill my teacup and then we can get started. To make the butterflies, you'll, you're going to need a lucet, a loop lifter, I'm using a nut pick here, a ruler, scissors, and two colors of yarn, uh, one for the body and one for the, um, no, pardon me, those are the wings of course, and for the body. I'll just move my tea out of the way, although tea of course is really essential. I'm just going to give you a quick reminder on how to use your lucet. Um, place the yarn on the front of the lucet and pinch it down with your non-dominant thumb. Take it behind the, I'll move those out of the way to make less uh, confusion, take it behind the left hand prong, back through the middle, around the right hand prong. Can you see that you've made now uh, an infinity loop, a, a, an eight. Now, always, I, I usually pinch the yarn between my index finger and middle finger and you're always going to lift the lower loop over the upper strands that are passing by and so I like to take my loop lifter in from the top and reach down. Now I've um, lifted the two loops and so I'm going to gently snug up and gently tug that down ever so slightly in front and you're going to keep on uh, with your luciting and it just goes very quickly simply by taking your loop around and taking the strand to the back lifting lifting and over it goes. So I'm going to do the black yarn. I'm using two strands of sock yarn held together to make the body. And I want the cord for the body part to be mm, about two and a half inches, which is about three centimeters. Is that three centimeters? Two point five, yeah. Two inches is five centimeters. So that would be about six centimeters. So between two to two and a half inches, it's um, it's kind of flexible how long you're going to make the body. Um, if you make it too long, you can uh, simply shorten it up and then make your next one a bit shorter. Or if you make it too short, you can make it a bit longer on the next one. 
what we're going to do is we're going to use the um, this black cord that I'm working on right now to make both the head and the body of the butterfly and it will encase the the loom the um, the loops at the center the loops of the wing okay let's just see how long that is that's about that's just a little better than two inches so I can see my battery light is flashing I'll take this off and in order to take it off, I simply pull this strand through. I'm working with a, a short length of yarn, so I didn't need to cut it. Take it over the left hand prong. I've pulled it up too tight to get it, to get the nut to pick in there. And then I pull the yarn end through and I have cast off my lucid cord trying to hold it in place oops sorry bumping the stand trying to hold it in a place that so you can see it while it's still being hopefully a little bit in um, in focus okay next okay my battery is flashing at me saying it needs help I'm going to make the wing um, the length of the wing lucid cord and that is six inches so I'll change the battery and I'll be right back. To make the um, length of uh, lucid cord for the wings, I used two strands of sock yarn held together. What I'm going to do with this is six inches or 15 centimeters long, I'm going to tie the yarn ends together and put a knot right at the place where the two ends of the uh, lucid cord come together. So I want them to be fairly closely held together. I'm going to pinch this circle out so that I can find the halfway point. Then I'm going to fold it back and take the yarn ends around it one more time and I've made the letter 8 or the number 8 or the infinity symbol and I'm just tying around that at the center. There we go, there's the center 8 of the 8 right there. Now move some of these things out of the way just to clear up the background a bit. I'm going to fold, this is both sets of wings, I'm going to fold them over again and take my ends here to the one side then I'm going to squish them together and I'm going to tie around the waist of the wings which is this pinched in part right here I'll wrap and I'm not going right at the center of the two wings because I want the lower wings to be smaller. So I'm sort of organizing those loops so that the lower wings are smaller than the upper wings. And again, just with one of the strands of yarn, I'm going to wrap around it a couple of times and tie, this time, a surgeon's knot. I'm going to go under and through and then again under and through twice. That makes a very firm knot when you uh, finish tying it off with the second half of the knot. So now tie off the second half of the knot and voila! We have the wings of the butterfly and we'll just get them sorted a bit here so that they're there. 
Now you can use, you can leave these ends if you want to sew a pin on the back to wear this as a pin on your lapel or on your hat or scarf. You can either leave these ends just hanging for now so that you can use them for tying on, uh, I mean for sewing the pin on, or you can snip them off. I'm going to snip them off just to get them out of the way. There we go. Now. I'm going to scooch that about a bit so it just looks nicer. I'm going to snip the yarn ends off of the body part. I'm going to fold down just a, a wee little bit of the head. It's uh, I'm of the end of the cord to make the head, and I will because I have two strands held together. I can separate those two strands and wrap them so that you have a neck with the, the wee little head pinched off from the neck by the wrapping. So you folded it there. So that little, the, the little tiny little loop at the end is the head. Now we take, we lay the body on top of the wings and bring the yarn ends up to the top, bring both of the ends together from the top end, and once again we're going to tie a surgeon's knot. So we go under and through once, under and through twice, Pull that up tightly so that the end of the body reaches the head. And now finish tying off the knot one more time. Now you want to secure the body by taking it, the yarn ends down and you're going to take them around the waist between the upper and lower wings. And then one more surgeon's knot over, under, and th oops, I forgot to do the second tie off there. Well, let's try that again then. Okay, so over and under and through once, over, under, and through twice. Pull it up tightly to really snug that waist in. Ugh, yes, good and tight. Okay, and then pull it over. And your little butterfly is done. So quick and easy butterfly made on the lucid. So this one is going to be uh, stitched onto, I'm going to be making quite a few of them, they're going to be stitched onto a banner. Happy butterflying, happy luciding, and uh, we'll see you again soon.